just to have it um, coinciding with the, the King's Cup regatta um, from the early days. And we used to get a lot of visitors coming from the regatta uh, over to see the show, which was good. Um, but in terms of what the show's about, which is both sales and leisure, leisure property sales, um, the customer base is really here from Christmas through to the end of January. Uh, early December is a little early for the, those people. These are talking about people who are part-time residents or uh, holiday homeowners. They come in for Christmas, New Year and stay for a few weeks after. And that's the target market for most of my customers. So that's why we moved it into January. Do you think you're going to get less sailors or less people who would have otherwise come? Well, obviously we won't, we won't get, you know, we used to get four or five hundred coming over from the King's Cup. We won't get those people. Um, but, I mean, anyone who's interested in boats um, who's around will come, for sure. Um, and I think we'll, we'll get the bonus of a lot of people who normally wouldn't be on the island in early December. Right. Obviously the weather is not great today, a bit of rain, but... I mean, normally it's drier. Yeah, well, 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 one of the reasons we moved to January is because it never rains in January, but never mind, it's raining. But um, I You've think... Got both indoors and outdoors. Yes, there's an indoor display and outdoor, and as far as I hear, I think it's going to clear up this afternoon, so with a bit of luck we'll be able to get out on the boats in the afternoon. Right. You've just had the opening with the, the Vice Governor and the TAT Director, and you, you got support as well from the Thailand Commission Exhibition Bureau. Is it good support? Very good support, not, not only financial, but um, they also give us a lot of support in uh, promoting and marketing and contacting and help with uh, other authorities like, like uh, the airport authorities and things like that. So, yeah, they're a great supporter of, of this show and many others. Financially, is it, is it viable? Do you, do, and how many visitors do you think you would, you would get? Because they're all free. I mean, you come <laughs> Yeah, we, we, don't charge, we don't charge visitors at all. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we have to make our money by, by selling to the exhibitors. Um, yes, it's financially viable. If it wasn't, we wouldn't be doing it still after seven years. How much do you think in value do you think these producers or, or the sellers will, will sell here? Well, I, I, you know, I, I don't know. It, it's always uh, something that we ask them at the end of the show. Um, but, yeah, I mean, in previous years, we, we've had sales up to $20 million during the course of the four days. Um, last year was a little different because of the, uh, the airport closure. But um, I, I would expect to see at least, at least a dozen boats sold over the next four days. I mean, it's been a bad year for the economy last year, 2009. You're obviously in 2010 now. Does that also help, you know, <laughs> optimism a bit up? I, I think everyone's seen it picking up since about October, November um, in the marine industry here. And uh, let's face it, the, the people, you know, they, they're, they're all hunkered down for a year, but they're wanting to breathe again now. And I, I think we're going to see some good sales during the show. You've got new, well, you've got new owners a couple of years ago, didn't you, in former Yep, yep, from yep. well known from Monte Carlo and yeah, uh, yeah. Mo Mo Monica. Monica, the Monica yacht show is one one of their uh, shows that they do. Uh, the Abu Dhabi yacht show is a new one which they introduced last year and was a great success. And they also do the uh, World Yacht Racing Forum, which is a international conference of all the top people in yacht racing sponsorship, etc. Um, so they're they're involved in lots of different activities in the marine field. So they're happy with it so far in this couple of years. Yes, I think they are. Um, you know, they, they, they targeted um, Pimex as the show they wanted to uh, get involved with. Um, they see Phuket as a, as a key um, place. It's a fantastic brand, Phuket. Everywhere all over the world knows, knows it. Um, so, yeah, I think they're happy. And what they want to do is develop it into a bigger and better show. Have they brought in more Middle Eastern or, or even European interest? Or we, we, we've had a lot of interest um, from the Middle East, one or two exhibitors. Uh, where I've seen a big difference this year is um, interest from China. Um, many people inquiring. Uh, we actually haven't got a Chinese exhibitor, but we've, we've probably been talking to about five or six over the course of the last few months, and that, that's all being generated by the new marketing plans that we have. And uh, you know, it, it'll take a couple of years, but I think it's going it's to grow to be quite a lot bigger. Tell us about some of the highlights then of the, of, of the show. What are your favourites, or what do you think is significant here? Well, as I, as I said earlier, I, I, I'm, I'm loath to actually pick out any particular exhibit because that's not fair to all the others. But um, I think in general, what people will be very impressed with is the in-water display. Uh, there's over 35 boats down there, and some of them are very big, very new, and very, very sexy. We've got a 33-metre one coming, is it? Yes, nine? that'll be the biggest boat we've ever had in the show. Um, it's actually not here yet. It's coming in this afternoon. Uh, but yeah, that's 103 feet. Um, and it's super fast and a uh, magnificent piece of work. Marine are bringing in some Ferratis.